Page 3. Entering Tristram. I went to the stony field and walked around looking for these so-called stones. I seen tall stones standing in the distance, guarded by those blue demons. I walked forward and seen one of them just shouting at me to leave the area. Foolish creatures spout at me like some common thug. I raised my skeletons and charged forth. Like children seen a spider, they scream and scatter in all directions. Not a fear of my but a strategy to attack me. My skeleton army would be an equal match for them. It took me some time, but we disposed of them. I took out the scroll from my satchel and read it. I touched the stones in order of the scroll. The winds picked up and lightning started to appear. A red portal opened I knew where to lead. I stepped forward and appeared on the other side. Tristram in ruins, charred bodies everywhere. The frantic sounds of bones rattling and demons howling. Flashbacks when I left flew through my mind. I knelt to my knees holding my head. I could hear the scream and the smell of blood. That but I took out my pendant and my wife and children. I grasped to give myself strength. This tear would not take me. I took my skeletons and battled through Tristram. Griswold the blacksmith his cadaver tried to attack me. I laid my curse on him. My skeletons cut him down. I came across Ward's body. A greedy child, but a child in the end. Eventually, I took Tristram back and saved the old man Deck King from his prison. We went back to the camp. We both sat around the fire. He told me how he became a prisoner of that nightmare. The fire crackled and my eyes grew heavy. I turned in and rested in my tent. Page 4. The Forgotten Tower. I've gained the waypoint from the dark wood and made my travels easier. I seven fully covered covered the tortured memory that still haunted me. I eventually came to pass into the black marsh. It wasn't like any marsh I was in. Patches of mud and water, but still solid ground. I crept behind a boulder and noticed more demons. Goatmen, I believe they were called. Men combined with animals and some foul magic I didn't know about. Or were they cursed like the druids to take the shape of a beast? Either way, I slowly walked past them. They noticed me, but didn't seem to be bothered. My boots splashed in the thick, muddy water. If you weren't careful, you'd find yourself in a sinkhole. The marshland I secluded myself in was foggy and the smell of rotten earth. A place nobody would ever live unless they wished death upon themselves. But it's where I leashed my hatred and powers, a land with nothing to lose. As I dwelled, my thoughts looming, stone tower appeared in front of me. I came across a book that talked about it. I came across a book that talked about it, having some demon countess soaking the blood of virgins. Another demon in my eyes that choked the life of these lands. I entered the forgotten tower to live deep in the heart of the earth and darkness. Unlike the caves, it was human made and crafted to last. The creaking sounds of stone pillars giving away. This stone tomb wouldn't last much longer under a strong storm. It felt like hours circling these cold halls and floors. But I would find myself at the bottom. I entered the main room to find room to see a fountain of blood. Like a succubus whisper, I heard her calling to me, and the words, your blood will be mine. This countess, this blood demon, would perish under my power. I called forth my skeletons again and walked straight into her room. She stood there laughing at me like shadow figures were surrounded by. But I faced death before, and she would not But I faced death before, and she would not take me. She blocked the entrances with fire. I laid my bone arm around, and we began the fight. She was quick with her sword and swift with speed. She tried to break through my boat armor, but it was too thick. My skeletons were cutting her minions down. She went for it. forward, thrust at me, and my clay golem absorbed the hits. Her hands stuck. I caught upon my curse and stabbed her heart with my wand. Like a cloud landing on the ground, she broke apart into mist. Her laughter faded, and darkness seemed to lighten up. I made camp in that place, collecting the treasure and gold within. It it reminded me of my own isolation and what I need to make myself stronger. How's it going, guys? <laughs> Apologize if I sound a little stuffy because I am. Because I have goddamn allergies and stuff like that. So it's like, ugh. Had to crash and felt like a goddamn train ran over me. Hope you guys' this Thursday is going good. Uh, that All right. So I didn't do any grinding after we completed the Forgotten Tower. So we drop off these runes. Get some skeletons here real quick too, so. So I say I apologize for a lot of click on the mouse, but you know, what you really do. Uh, 
Oh, straight up with a mini boss. That's cute. Oh no, champions, never mind. Man and potions for me. That's so nice of you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little journal dialogue. I don't want to open this up this stuff. Excuse me, it's a little easier. Oh, this is a massive world in turn. <clears throat> so after we complete the uh, barracks and the uh, Jail. Well, once we get to the jail and the barracks, once we get the jail, we'll play more of the video. But you guys are most likely will not see this video until later tonight, just strictly the fact because of the uh, whole journal, journal entries and stuff like that. I had to stick in because I had to break it down to multiple sections thanks to OBS and stupid notification asking me if I wanted to have a goddamn update kept interrupting me so it's like if you guys see like random uh, like random skips or jumps in the video that's why because every time I try to read try to read the uh, dialogue for it it would pop up the notification asking if I want to update OBO so uh, I do apologize for that and I do apologize for not having a video up yesterday but uh, the day that I was actually supposed to go never ended up happening, and I ended up having a family emergency anyway, so. Yeah. It was a little more important. But they just sent us champions and mini bosses out the gate. I'll take it. Hit by another mini boss? Are you kidding me? This crap? I mean, I'll tell you. I literally just healed to you, little turd. So, basically, after <coughs> Mavericks. Oh, it's crap. I forgot that. Uh, time going through Tristram. He's slowly recovering. Uh, we got what? 14, I said. Yeah, because this is 18. Um, so he's slowly recovering from the tragic events and the hallucinations and something like that entering Tristram. You know, trying not to go insane, going back to the place that he straight up just left. So, killing demons. This is best way of recovery from that. You know. But I mean, you can't really blame the guy. You know. Then you go off to seek knowledge, you come back, and you find out that Tristram's been destroyed by a bunch of demons that are dead. Your family's dead, and most of the town's completely, you know, completely abandoned or wiped out. Show back up years later and having to go back to that same goddamn place. Didn't mess up anybody. Just be doing. I don't know. Well, we might be just straight up doing the, the uh, Roger Kamalas. Yep, we're gonna clear it out. Because we're already six minutes into the video, so. Don't feel like it either.
It's like the game knows, and then just throwing extra demons at me. But better for me, we'll wipe them all out. <clears throat> I don't think we have corpses we're gonna do right now. That's one thing we're about to pick up. Oh, that's the one I wanted to get to. It's corpse explosion. Corpse explosion will help you out quite a bit in uh, when you're playing a summer. Especially like Magalair and crap like that. But, because uh, it does, uh, I think it does like pure physical damage or some crap like that, right? I can't remember. Damage to 70% of the corpse's life, you know. So, even on Hell the how the hell is your ass still alive? Yeah, I don't So, even on Hell difficulty, I mean, it still offers quite a bit of damage. But, uh, we're going to with the police and corpse explosion as well. Once we lead that, lead that all up to uh, poison over, but I should get it. I should get rigor corpse explosion though. That'll save a lot of trouble with during Magalair and Arcade Sanctuary. Same very barracks where they were trained to fight in Dario. Same place where their tortured souls remained. But we're gonna clear it out. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna breathe out one goddamn nose. And uh, wells also heal your minions too from any damage, so not just you and your mercenary. So it's great if you're playing somewhat of a summoner, a druid or a necromancer. Like, technically, assassin too. She has her shadow figure. And uh, Amazon, because of her Valkyrie, uh, it does not heal. Stuff like hydras from the sorcerers and crap like that, so. <clears throat> or totems from uh, Barbarian. Sorry if I'm a little quiet. <laughs> Trying to breathe and I'm gonna take a ibuprofen or two. Like a bad bean burrito, he just splat. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, this is gonna be shaman. I'm guessing. Oh, oh yeah, actually, it's someone, right? Shaman, the champion road. So. Fun fact about the uh, Smith, I don't know if I told that in my uh, uh, Amazon video, the Smith was originally like an orangish peach color, and then for some oddball reason in the updates, they uh, changed him to blue. Don't know why, but, because he's the same color even in Battle of that too. Now, for the imbuement, I'm going to save it. I'm going to try to aim for a necromatic head or a better wand. Because 
this, this little dinky thing is just not gonna get it done. Got about 32,000. See what car has. Ugh. No, thank you very much. See, that was not bad, but it's true. Pretty gold, though. Corpses do have no bad either. Mm. Alright, so basically nothing good. And of course, Keed's not gonna carry any of that type of crap. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, we're gonna be taking care of the queen herself. Daliel. Hmm, we may have time to knock out the jail. At least get the waypoint. <clears throat> Slow torch of the salvation. I love the necromantic. I'm necromantic. I love the necro lines in the game. He's the only one that actually kind of adds like a. Uh, twist of sick humor to it. Everyone else is so concerned. Ooh, speaking of preserved head. So concerned to it. Especially the paladin. I wonder if we'll be reading each and our boy how pit spawn or whatever the hell his got in name is. So what uh, <laughs> defensive one. Get the hell out of here. The hell did I just pick up? Carbon driver. What's a imprisonment for thugs and bandits is now basically one of the lower bows of hell itself. I know you're not just hitting me. I got all my skeletons, the goddamn skeleton itself hits me. What are you? I wondering why the hell that was taking so goddamn long. Hello, boys. It's a rarity, but I've seen it happen where your own minions will actually open the doors too. But it's like a an extreme rarity. Same thing with your mercenary too. Sir, that was not very nice of you. So we get to find a decent amulet too. Okay. 
too. We just covered basically this entire goddamn map and stuff on the waypoint. But yeah, expect to see this video around like dinner time because of the multiple videos that I'm going to add into it on top of doing the borders and then adding the music to it. So it's like, it'll be close to 20 minutes or if not over 20 minutes. So that's why I was trying to find the goddamn waypoints as quickly as possible. It would have been a shorter episode, but, you know, I probably could get out to you guys a little slightly earlier. But either way, you're still going to see around, like, dinner time. Okay, so it means wait, what's going to be here? Surprised we didn't come across pit spawn, because this little ass is going to tend around or something. Alright, so we're going to end the video there. I do apologize if it's a shorter video, but, like I said, with all the crap that I've got to <laughs> add into it, trust me, it's going to be taking quite a while. But, uh, either way... Uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the little journal entry. Uh, like I said, uh, I was so talking to one of the Twitch streamers last night, and he was actually interested too to find out the to see the perspective of, through the hero's eyes of the journey that he goes through through the entire game. So I know he's excited about that, and uh, I'll put his uh, Twitch channel below. You can go check him out. He plays retro games like that. But either way, I hope you guys the Thursday's going good. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks, guys.